Hello? Discord has just made me want to throttle someone. For whatever reason, when I open Discord shortly after launch of my PC, it just kills everything. Like, it stops all apps from working. I timed it before. And it took seven minutes for Discord to open as of being, being clicked on. Oh god, Tenons are making more lies. Let's read what Tenons have been waffling on about. Hello? Sorry, I. I didn't care. Hello? Um, yeah, I was just saying then, Discord had been making me want to throttle someone. Like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking through it now. I'll have a proper look through it now. Um. I'm not going to screen uh, capture it though, for obvious reasons. Um, I fucking I don't you know, remember what I said, Preston, about launching all your things at once when you lo load and it slows it down. I don't think it's all the things. I think it's fucking Discord. Oh my, I nearly. Just, oh, I feel angry. Um. Let's have a look. Ten thousand timestamps. Oh, go on, Kieran. Oh, yeah, bro. I heard this new thing called sun grazing. You should try it, Kai. I'm waiting for it, Kieran. Luckily, at this time of year, I can actually sun gaze from my living room, from my front room. Obviously, you have to look at, like, actually get out of the window, because if you look through windows, it doesn't work. Um, wow, Tim's just digging a deep, deeper and deeper hole. You can join when they reach your level. Tannin is quite a quiet and unpleasant bastard sometimes. Third is they don't want me to tell them stuff I've learned, so I'm still banned at this point. Yeah, and then you proceed to make it worse, Tannin, by playing it more. Don't waste your time in it, though. There's no point arguing with idiots. Realistically, I think Tim's the biggest idiot of our society. On par with Cody, probably, in terms of the degenerate behavior he engages in. And immediately he tried to go for the division to turn me and you against each other, Kieran, because I was angry at you the other day in the stream and you've been pissed me off quite a bit lately I won't lie but your I, your point of him trying to misdirect instead of respond to a, a point that's proven to him is very true hello Tin and we're just talking about you it's I think it's a, a massive waste of time for everyone involved to be fair though as well I came home from a run uh, after witnessing a very interesting experience and then I saw all this and I've forgotten how good sun gazing is and just uh, sunbathing the other day I can't believe did I stream did I stream on the when was the last stream two days ago I don't, I've lost track of... I, I, gods don't focus on time. I know I do. They. 
but I can't, no, I don't think I, d I have streamed since the other day. I went out on a really big, did I stream since I posted that picture of the, the pussy can and the Milford? I, I, did, I haven't ever. Anyway, that, I had such good sun on that day. Such good sun. What a great day that was. Best day I've had all this year, I think. I fucking love the sun. You, Tim, they did prove you wrong. Provided multiple timestamps, and you did the liberal thing of, I'm not reading that. It's what all the Shanique was on Twitter used to do. He said, oh, well, actually, uh, they, they would say, like, oh, well, you're revolved from my ancestors, blah, blah, blah. Actually, ancient Egyptians, I remember this fucking stupid black bitch was talking about, cited a bunch of references saying that the original Celts and Vikings were black. And then the person she cited was literally a proto-communist Jew that had written these things. No surprise there. Um, and I provided solid proof to refute all of what this crazy person said <clears throat> and she she said I, I'm what did she say actually I screenshotted it she said something like uh, I'm not in the right frame of mind to read that or something like that well don't argue with me then bitch go and fucking eat a banana or something don't waste my time love Turn in here I played for over an hour now I need a break there's only so much you can do it's not a story game Implying that, you you know, Tenin can make do without playing it. Oh, someone else. Oh, Kieran, I didn't actually see Kieran, but you made the same point. It's still going on. Still scrolling. Oh my god, it's still going on. Now it's talking about Jenny. Now we've got some Alex Jones gifts. <laughs> Soy. <laughs> I'm, I'm horrified and proud at the same time. Not, not, no, not since Strunk Pussy. Okay, yeah, yeah, I had such a great day then. I had, an, the, honestly, probably the best day of my year. Definitely the best day of my year, actually. It was about 27, 28 degrees Celsius, full sun. I was down, I um, don't know how many miles south. That place is a real place, by the way. That's in a photo of. There's more than one. Staffordshire. More than one mil foot. Yeah, so I was down like sort of 40 miles to the south, which is quite, quite big. In England, you know, means the to to topography and environment's very different in England. Whereas obviously in America or Canada, you travel that far, it's going to still look very much the same. Um, but it was so mild, so beautiful. We went through a, a very interesting town called Utoxita, which uh, I believe is a Roman name. And what struck me as very interesting is, in the very centre of the town, there is wooden um, statues of a centaur and a bull um, which is interesting given that if it's a Roman name the Romans inherited a lot of other ancient Aryan cults and religions such as Baal worship which was a bull um, so it's quite interesting and you could have the normies that say oh well you know it's farming land so that's why the bull's there why is the fucking centaur there then do you know what I mean? An interesting place. An interesting place. Lovely uh, countryside, though. Lovely countryside. Uh, quite close to that um, ancient Greek-style uh, stately home that I sent you some photos of a while ago, Tenon. Um, Shugborough Estate. Just, just a lovely place, all in all. 
definitely somewhere I'd like to live. Very, very warm. Just chatting, this will be interesting. It's not just chatting, it's just I don't know what to play. We'll, what's the vote? We could do, me and Preston could play summer, or I could do Rome to a war, uh, you know, or uh, state. We could all play state. Really pissed about I try to acknowledge my wrongdoings and apologize. I, I do, I, I'm an angry person, so I can, especially on Pine and I can be aggressive towards you sometimes too. I acknowledge that. Yeah, you sent me the screenshot. Of her saying that to you. What was this in response to, Karen? Kai, you probably came home. Uh, yeah, on my phone as well, which is. People are making a big deal because you're not acknowledging why it's a bad thing. The whole idea originally was to play the game together, like it was with Conan. And as we saw with Conan, you say you desperately need to play it, you desperately want to play it, blah, blah, blah. Then in Conan, you're not playing it anymore, and it's uninstalled. But if you were still playing it with us, if you hadn't pissed us off in that game, you'd still have it installed, very likely, and you'd be playing it on a regular basis. So you would have gotten your money's worth. That's my stance. Alex Jones all look the same. It's pretty mad. I do think England's a beautiful and Britain's a beautiful uh, place for that. Like, you can travel to literally, like, 30 mile distance and it will look so different. What game are you thinking, guy? Check the society. Okay, am I back for the record? Well, the idea, Tiernan, was that we'd catch up in skill and experience and levels. But that's going to be even further along now. And you say, we can have a conversation now, and you'll say, okay, I won't do it, I'll wait for you. But we both know that's not true. Especially given that these same friends that you claim to be playing Phasmophobia with have also got you to buy Pacify, which is like a discount store version of Phasmophobia. You could have just played it with them. What would be the issue? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not sure what game are we thinking. Could hop on. I can't really do row much. I could do a total war for a bit until we decide or do it just chatting. We do a bit of battlefield or. I'll let you guys decide, but in the meantime, I'm going to hop on. Uh, hop on Attila. All the Windows stuff seems to be running really slow today. Oh, you know what it is? Oh, you fucking bastard. You know what it is, Preston? I bet there's an update. I bet there's one of them updates again. My friend just asked me to play Phasma there now, and it's his first time, but I am buying, I'm level 27 anyway. None of these things are refutes. None of these things are, you know, debating what I said. Might have just asked you to play Phasma there now, but no one asked you to get Phasma. You got it because I asked you. Fuck it. Yeah, and all of a sudden, Windows doesn't... F yes! 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 There's an update. All of a sudden, Windows doesn't fucking work. Oh, the whole thing goes slow. Isn't it a fucking coincidence? Re restart required. Fuck you. Pause updates for seven days, seven days, seven days. I'll do this for all time. Lo and fucking behold, it, like, the fucking update scheduler crashes. I should have known. You go on yours, person, right now. You tell me if you've got a fucking forced update. I am sick of this shit. Like, even my search bar at the bottom doesn't load in properly. Like, it takes a, it takes a while.
I'm clicking on Windows Update and it's just a blank fucking screen. I paused them until the 26th of... No, it should be paused for more. There we go. I'm pausing them forever. You can pause them for seven days, but they only let you do that six times in a row. There we go. Is it still got... Okay, so it's taking away the scheduled updates now. We... I, I'm sick of this shit. Because it really does... It's not a joke. It really does mess with it. It messes with the... Pause them too. I paused them a while ago, but it must have just caught up. No fucking wonder. I can't remember if it was Kieran or Preston. I remember having a conversation with Preston, but I can't remember exactly who it was that said it's con it conveniently goes shit when there's an update. It's fucking true. When there's an update scheduled, I thought it was Discord, maybe it's not. When there's an update scheduled, everything just fucking does not work. Yeah, I've done July 24th too. Thing is, my PC was working fine before you release these updates, Windows. Like, never do I play use, a win, use Windows, play a game or whatever, and think, oh, I wish this feature was improved. No, just leave me alone, Windows. Let me play my fucking games. Fuck off. That don't matter. They don't matter. And it, they not only do they slow it down in the moment, I think they slow it down long term as well. Because I install, uninstalled a bunch of optional ones. All these net framework shit things. We could do um, I could do a bit of Total War and then we could hop on Battlefield. Kieran and Preston. Tin and City's playing. Uh, Phasma, so. Hello, Crisp. The net framework ones always fuck my game. It's always the most, like, vague things. Like, why are you updating my net framework? We are doing We're doing a bit of Total War now. I'm just going to wait for the game to load up before I can have it up. That's a good quote. Marcus Aurelius. A man's worth is no greater than his ambitions. This is true. I've said this many times. Uh, to Preston and, and, and you, to you, Kieran. Um... I can't remember the way I worded it though. Tiller. Well, oh, I've got no saves on any of my Total Wars. I forgot this, but I've not imported them and they're not cloud saved for some reason. I'd like to play Rome. I might do that tomorrow and just bring over my Old Republic saves, Rome saves, uh, Thrones of Britannia saves. I can do it. It's just laziness because I'm I, everything has to be unplugged and plugged back in and everything. Yeah, what what are you guys? How are you doing, uh, Crispy? Why does it give me an option? Give Qui Gon Quasar feedback. Don't give me your feedback. I will not listen to it. I'll do what I want. Thanks. Genuinely, don't give me your feedback. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That should be an optional thing. Yeah, so what was this that you posted before then, Kieran? Because uh, about the the Twitch revenue split. Because I got an email from Twitch saying that I was getting an extra 5% revenue share. Now. Oh yeah, I forgot everything was fucking going wrong. We've got the camel shaggers here being a pain in the ass. There. Okay. Oh, no. No. Do you know do you ever have this moment? I think everyone who's played enough to the wall has this moment where they can everything goes wrong and they just they rage quit, but it's it, total war rage quit's always different. Total war rage quit's always slow and you know, respectable, dignified, like a captain slowly going down into the deep with his ship. And then you come back to it like a month later and it just fucking brings back all of the depression. Twitch is shit in the bed. So basically they're like paying twenty dollars a day or some shit. Watch Tim's video about it. Remember though, Tim is now YouTube only, and I think from what I read, I don't like Tim. I'm gonna mess. You you can't. I just find him too loud in American. But um, from what I read, it seemed like 
Unless they're using doublespeak in the emails that they've sent to me. But it seemed like they're fucking partners over, but benefiting affiliates. So I wonder if pausing those updates is going to cure the PC then. I'm bald. Uh, he is quite American to be fair. It's just it, just how loud he is. Just There's no need to be so loud. Um, and very, he is very soy in the way he talks. Oh my god! And all that shit. Like, Dr. Disrespect is an, uh, an example of an American that I find hilarious and very funny. And then Tim the Tapman is, not personally, I'm sure he's a nice guy personally, uh, but he's just very loud and very... They do make a good team. To be fair though, I've watched a couple of streams lately that they did. Not lately, like, like a month ago. And it did seem a bit strained, like they were both getting a bit sick of each other. You know, like when we have an argument here and, and then we carry on playing and we both just don't really talk to each other much in the stream. It seemed a bit like that. Probably another reason you don't like Coach Gray. You gotta admit, though, he's fucking annoying, though. His voice is fucking annoying. And he's got bad takes. He has got bad takes. He ha he's got the biggest mouth about... You know, he's got a hundred opinions about all these other bodybuilders. Meanwhile, his fucking success comes from a bottle. Do you know what I mean? He's got no right, really. I don't even know what to do right now. Um, what a name. Sabrakamani. So, should we do a bit of Battlefield 1 later then, boys? But we'll do some Attila for now then. To battle. I was in the movie for Total War, to be fair. Uh, I found this new guy. I can't even remember what his name was, but a good history channel that I sent to Preston. Tell me his name. Look for your message, Preston. I can't remember what he's called because I'll recommend it to Kieran. Pretty good. He, he's pretty accurate. Like, he's. When he talks about the Yamnayaya culture, who were the proto Scythians and stuff, he depicts them with the right phenotypes, you know? He's. But he is not that phenotype. So usually you'd have a lot of bias where they're just trying to portray themselves as like the ancients and oh no, the ancient Greeks looked exactly like the modern Greeks, bro, and all that shit. But he's actually pretty non bias Coach Greg, is that the voice one when I can't say it in a text but a weird voice? He's a, like a bodybuilder. I feel like these kind of streams work very well in summer. You know, where you just do whatever you're feeling. Do what do what you're all feeling. Just chill out and play a bunch of different games. It also always works well for me, starting off with just chatting and Total War. Dan Davis is still... Yeah, that one. Thank you. Do you like him? Very German. Extremely German. Uh, I know him. Uh, I don't agree with him. Though. Like, you know, like his, his reasoning to move to Thailand and stuff. Uh, and it's not a physique I want. I just think his like, abs and stomach just look pretty disgusting. And he's kind of in that pickup artist realm. Which is pretty cringy. Because I've watched a lot of his videos. Like, I'm familiar with him. I don't dislike him, to be fair. One day I'm going to be big on YouTube. And I'm going to I'm gonna have the most hated people. Like, I'm going to be one of the most hated people. Because I've just, in my early days, just said, I fucking hate all these people. The goddess blesses you. I don't even know. Right. right okay, we're going to do something. We're going to do something. We're going to do something. So I've got, I'll have six pieces of gold, so we're, we're breaking, well, only just breaking even. We've got an army coming in there. Big army. Thirteen. Fourteen. I reckon we should probably try with this army. Oh no, we should take it straight away, actually. we got to attack it straight away. We've got a good chance of taking it. I don't know if we could defend it against them, but yeah, let's take it. Let's have a... <laughs> It's, you know what, I'll save it. I just remember last time I did this and I went straight into a battle. It went really badly. But these are very worn down troops. So I'll, I'll just double save just in case. Probably will reload this battle because I'm out of practice. 
Alright, see you soon, Karen. Kai, when we blow up, it's gonna be great. Yeah, but also pretty dramatic. What have you done today, Preston? Yeah, that uh, Dan Davis distor historian. You should watch some of his videos, Preston. They're really, uh, they're not very visual either. He just puts, like, some general sort of b-roll footage of the places that he, the people he's talking about lived in so you can stick him in and just listen to him when you're doing some like something boring you know for me it was washing the dishes but even just like walking you could download one of them pressing and listen to it while you go to school because they're pretty interesting snow as the uh units move slower oh fuck no we're gonna wait try now there's snow still there man all right i suppose that's we attack in, win in winter? I think we are. I think that's why I was waiting. I was waiting because I didn't want to attack in winter, I think. I fucking know now, though, that it is definitely the Windows updates. Before I opted out of a bunch of optional Windows updates, I would always have bad... My PC seemed to just always have bad days, and I never knew what was causing it. Fucking know now, though. So annoying. That's one way that consoles are a lot better because they don't they do force updates, don't get me wrong, but like I don't know, console players are just they'd complain if the updates weren't good. One thing I'll say about the Xbox times is when they drop an update, it's almost always very like a, a vast improvement, if we're being honest. Missed this game. I've missed Total War. My, Preston, that fucking thing that happened today, though. I was so confused. I was so confused. Alright, we're going to have to actually rush them, I reckon. Heavy spear infantry. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. It's so fucking weird, though, man. It just, it, it, it switched so fast as well. Oh, they've got catapults? Okay, well, I didn't pay attention to this. Look, oh, yeah, mate, yeah, mate. You don't want to be doing none of that rugby union shit, mate. There's more dash in rugby league. And I was like, a minute ago, this looked like a, we were going to have a, a, a dust off. And now we're talking about rugby league. Okay. All right. Run, curse you! Going to try to do all the only only outside. Okay, am I a loudspeaker then? Scrappers ready. Tell your mum she's a goddamn Scythian. And then walk away and don't give any context. Yeah, so imagine like how rusty I am right now playing a game. Imagine like if you weren't in a battle for... Right, you know what? I've got to open these guys up. That sounds gay. Weren't in a battle for like 10 years. And you, so you were rusty with commanding. Can you imagine how many mistakes you'd make? No. It's fucking catapults, man. I hate Romans! I fucking hate the Romans. We should probably win this battle here, though. Especially now they've charged the horsemen in. They won't stand a chance. The enemy are ambushing us! 
They're not. The game's paused, mate. Have you seen Coach Greg's videos on Preston? Alright, you know what? Let's not rely on pushing up through one angle. Let's get all them up there. We'll push up with two angles instead. Darth Malchus. Yeah, we've got him here. Smashing these little cubes. Why would you push up horsemen? Yeah, I just, sorry, I was just checking the desktop audio is working. Why on earth would you use horsemen here? Against those pikes back there, I mean. Shame that they've never done a Lord of the Rings Total War, like a proper Total War. They've done similar style Lord of the Rings games, but they didn't have the realism or immersion that you'd get from uh, a Total War game. It's going quite well on the eastern flank. Really, I should have fucking just pushed up to the catapult straight away. In all seriousness. You know what? Let's go and deal with them now, actually, with one unit of swordsmen. Fucking catapults, man. I hate them. Pain in the ass. Warriors! They are smashing my troops with those fucking catapults. Pussies. Oh, fuck's sake. The fu this flank's falling apart. Fuck's sake. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The pussy blots. What? What? She would say. What? I... What do you think time to? What do you think time to? What do you think time to? Alright. Lose formation! Still need to go on Troy, but I need to get my. Oh, that's another thing I need my saves from, actually. Troy saves. Earthguard! Move these fellas up into the center. They've got a horseman. Remember that kid that I, that was bumped into twice? Oh, that you bumped into twice. I. I. Ready for battle. Way up, way up, way up. Earth guards, can you fucking run? You cunts. Fucking run, you fat twats! Why are they jogging leisurely? This is not a leisurely thing. We're doing battle. Fuck's sake, man. These fucking arrow towers. Finally, they get actually get into the battle. Three years later. Spion! Oh, 
Look at him fucking running away from me. But I, you, but I think you will love it. Now, oh, there's another one taking the piss out of me, Preston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manga, I, I manga. I. Oh, I didn't realize that was Shield Wall. I thought that was Frenzy. It looks so similar to Frenzy. So I had him in fucking Shield Wall. That's why they weren't moving fast. Fuck's sake. Boom. He is a twin, and I saw him in school, and I went, I swear I saw you by me. He said, I got a twin. So one twin is nice, or I bumped into them both. <laughs> so you bumped into him twice. But it might have been two different people. I swear to the gods it isn't. It's even better. No proof. How many did we kill? That worked. I mean, they killed a lot of men. There's fucking catapults. I, I wasn't de uh, equipped to deal with them either. But I am equipped to drink some milk. It's frustrating, isn't it, when you've got an idea and you're sitting on it and... You want to share it, you want us to see it, but you, you don't want to say it, what it is. Give it away. Honey milk. Uh, what do we do? Do we occupy or it's In reality, um, this might be a wise thing to... Well, be, be wise here, actually. To loot and occupy it. Or to sack it. I feel like sacking it might be a wise thing because we can just take the money and run. We will get more money from looting and occupying it. But then, I'm not going to... You know what, we'll loot and occupy it, but if they start coming over, we'll run away. But I'll probably abandon this settlement, in all honesty. I could actually completely... I don't want to, though, because it was the first settlement I, I captured. But at least I've got some money for building more troops now. Um, the goddess blesses you. Preston. The goddess blesses you. Keep forgetting to use these things. I thought that said Fagitarius then. That needs to be like the new based book covert name for homosexuals. Fagitarius. Preston, you're such a Fagitarius. I think we should just encode all of our homophobia and xenophobia let's just encode it all with uh, Roman sounding words <laughs> when the Fagitarius full week of shadow war and how it's weekend but no more pine and keep looking at it, it has I know I, 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 I literally right I went to bed last night actually worrying about you because I thought is he gonna have the self-control to not take that on a regular basis Full week of Shadow War. Have you been playing it every day then? I meant to play Valhalla today. I think now that my sleep's going to be fixed from the running, I'll be able to get properly into it. It's not a joke. I'm tempted to chug it. Well, if you chug it, you won't get the benefits of it. You'd have to put it all under your tongue. I, one thing I will say, though, is that I actually realized how small of a dose I told you to take. You should stick to that small of a dose, but for the real overbearing rage effect and the burning sensation, you you really get that from like a pipette and a half. Not to say that you should take that much, uh, but that's how much I realized I take. 
Colony um, Agrippina. Oh god, that garrison is weak. Weak. Is it worth repairing this? They are still in the the sea, but they could just come all the way down here. I don't know. Is this the Danube? Or I don't know, but they could come all the way down here. I am a priestess. I bet you are. Just want four puppet and a half and another. I'm back. What have I missed? I won the battle. The gods were with us. Did you ever watch that video I sent to you about uh, Britain and Hyperborea? It definitely spoke about the spirituality of it a lot, but it's got some interesting things about Britain that I didn't know. Um, and I, what I also didn't know is like Apollo in terms of physical tangible proof is basically the oldest god um in terms of like when he's referenced and stuff fucking hell lindum they've got a lot of things up at lindum who are they they're my allies but only in spirit really not even in spirit they're my allies in no way really so it'll be 18 they are good troops they've got comestancy spears which are heavy heavy okay so am i equipped to deal with them not really. Um, says cannot recruit in this stance. What fucking stance? We can't do that. I'm not in his stance. Set up a watch. A full pepper and a half and another full one. I'm. Sh I'm not even saying anything because anything I say, oh I forgot I'm gonna uh, well not really not me. Anything I say, Preston, you you in typical Kieran fashion, you're gonna twist it round um, and and use it as a an excuse to take it. Might send them to Flavum. Oh, we got an army coming in. They're going to be heading towards me, I reckon. Visantia will probably be their target. I could really do with setting up some good alliances. How long will this take if I repair this? One turn. Yeah, that's probably worth doing then. It'll probably repair by the time they attack. No, no, I'd, I would, uh, I'd, I'd end up in prison if I took Trent. All joking aside, I'd, I would, I would, I'd kill someone. What would scare me is if, uh, if it was something that I cared about, and well, I suppose I'd pull an Anakin. Shocker, Anakin was actually on trend when he went into the Jedi Temple. No, but if someone that I cared about just slightly trespassed against me, I'd, I would be scared of my reaction to it. Why is it giving me a notice thing here? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Like I've been thinking it. What, thinking that you're going to take it or thinking that I am going to take it? Why are they stuck in this fucking formation, man? We cannot. I'll leave them out there. I think it's because I entered the, the settlement in that formation. Uh, so the plant, so our hostiles now are the children of the sun. <laughs> the sun doesn't love you, mongrels. And then the fury of the emperor. What emperor? Spanish nerds. Um, so I suppose we just need to fortify Colonia Agrippina and Flavum. Deal with these cooks first, though, I think. Edmund needs a haircut. What's the benefit of putting them as... No, it's probably not a good idea putting them as a governor right now. If it costs 400 
My money's better spent on armies. But yeah, I was saying to Preston earlier, um, this summer, me and my mum are going to be going to Sherwood Forest, which is, you'll be familiar with the Robin Hood legend, won't you? It's the the forest that Robin Hood existed in and hid in. Uh, very ancient forest. And I've been there in the past. They do this thing called the Robin Hood Festival where they have people, basically LARPers, they have like medieval camps and knights training and you know some of that some archery and stuff and some you know there's an actor playing robin hood that comes around and so they had well the last time i went there they had um formations you bastards formations of um red coat soldiers marching through the woods which, which was pretty cool and some like modern soldiers in ghillie suits just hidden in the ferns this year, though, they're actually doing a jousting tournament. So everything will be decked out like it's medieval Europe. All the, you know, the tapestry-style tents, all that, all the plate armor. And they've got jousting, you know, where they're on the horse and they're stabbing each other. Um, jousting tournaments, proper ones, um, this year, which I've not seen before and they've not done it there before. And uh, then a month after that, they've got a Viking festival, which is, I've not been to a Viking festival before, so... Be an interesting summer. And send Sunny there. Two two brids with one stone. Two brids indeed. Trespassed against you, cutting by Jesus. It's not Jesus, it's just that's just an ancient mode of speech. Fucking bastards taking come load them. See, they'll go back to the sea, I bet. Pussies. Uh defensive, protective. Fuck off, Moranians. I'm a bit scared of it. I'm scared of it too, for two reasons. One, because I'll kill someone. And two, because... Oh, fuck off. I don't even know where you are. Where is Kareenum? Oh, my fucking God. Fucking Romans. Based, Preston. Recruited so many units, the treasury is buckling under the weight. Shut up, Baldy. Ah! Look, they run into the sea, look. They, they, they raid and then they just run into the sea. Oh, Kareenum in, in here. Kareenum's here. Okay. Okay, so if that, so we need archers then for them. <laughs> we don't have any archers. <laughs> We're not. We don't have any archers available. What are these good against? Low health, rapid advance. They're not going to be good against heavy armored troops, are they? Though. Could do mercenaries, but they're a lot more expensive. Probably the better option, to be fair, though. Because we need, we do need archers. We could just do one mercenary. And then... Probably... A, yeah, okay. Probably save the money then. They just need to be rested now. On the move, lads. Getting on our way. Get the stakes up. Oh, my allies are actually going to chip in and trying to help me now, then, about fucking time. Fury of the Emperor is the army that I need them to focus on, really, though. At least they didn't come over here, though. They raided Camlodum, which is annoying. 
This is a bit fishy over here. These bastards here. We're going to do I had problems with these in another... Well, in the same playthrough, but then I re reloaded it. They're cheeky fuckers, they are. What have they made? Oh, they're a horde. Okay, I've never seen that before. So they've got, like, tents and stuff. That must be the horde mechanic. Yeah, I might need to... Since they're, since they're separatists, I might need to deal with them. If Since they're a horde, because they are looking for a place to settle down now, then. Have we got any mercenaries here? I don't think so. No. Wait, what happened to my woman? My uh, agent, did she get killed? For, no, no. She's just out for, for a while. Fucking brown eyed. Thirsty for battle. So we'll rest this army up and then we're going to smash these pricks. There's no point repairing come load them or uh, careen them yet, though. Uh, if I have a good reaction to it, I'd probably get addicted to feeling invincible. Because I've heard that some people feel like a fucking gun. Uh, it's either I feel great like a, f like a god or go full Ragnar and headbutt someone's head in. Or just, well, you get very bad nightmares from it, for one. You have my axe, and my axe, and my pine. That's how the line goes. Uh, yeah, I can tell you, you've uh, paid attention, person. Right, okay. Next turn. Ooh, but yeah, it's going to be good summer this year. Ooh. I'm going to try and speak to some of those um, in reenactors that were playing the Vikings in the Robin Hood group when I go out there in um, July and August. Speak to them and see how they got into it. I'd like to get into it. They've just come back to attack it again. Get a grip. Fucking brown eyed scum. Oh my fuck. Right, that fucked this next. Orc finisher, sup brah. Hello. Yeah, they were pretty gay, Kieran, but you, yeah, it's pretty impressive how uh, much you have put on some weight. It's impressive. The faces you were pulling, though, I'm surprised Tannen's not screenshotted a close up of him and made a meme out of him. You're lucky he hasn't. I endorse Saxon Supremacy. Finally! Someone else who gets it. Finally. Thank you. And you don't like orcs from the sound of it. Or maybe you do. Orc finisher could mean two things. Could mean two very different things, actually, I suppose. Orc finisher. These fucking cunts. They run away. Look, they, they raid and then they run. That's my thing, not theirs. Alright, but we can finally use this army. Sacking. Melee defense. We, have we got, we're not got, not got cavalry, so it's useless. And I'm going to respend them, I think. Fuck Ox. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do like the Danes, though. They're all the same, though, Kira. Like, they're the same people. Fuck Ox, in what way? That's what we're asking, Preston. This is the question.
Yeah, hit and runs. Nox said me once, I thought it could have been you. <laughs> have you got a favourite orc yet? On Shadow of War, Preston. Because I always had a favourite orc when I had was one of my... You know, when I was um, playing through it. Building my uh, gang up. Just today. God, man, I've got bicep veins with short head biceps. I remember this whole tangent where you were talking about short head biceps. Long head bi biceps. So, where are you then? You said you're in Mordor, but a bit behind. I don't understand what that means. Preston. Alright, what army do we attack then? We can attack these guys on the right, or we can attack them. They look like they're heading away, though. They're going down to Cornwall, which there's nothing there on this map, so... I reckon I should attack them. They've been a bigger pain in the arse for longer, and I've got a better chance against them. And I'm near Cam Loden, so I might get a little bit of a garrison support. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it's that's one of the things, isn't it? With this shredded look, unless you it will, unless you wear a very tight shirt, it would look like you hadn't worked out, or that you don't. Not you specifically, but with the leaner body types. But in a tournament or a competition that's what they look for the amount of size you put on since stubborn vegan is retarded see i've lately though i'm still bulking because i tried wearing a t-shirt the other day that i wore uh ages ago when i felt actually felt more muscular than i am now and i thought all right i'm smaller so it's gonna be a bit baggy but I, it doesn't fit on me like my it just just won't fit down me so I think what's gone on with me is I've just booked up uh, in a different different areas of booked up at different rates now. Because I have been slacking lately um, with bench pressing and stuff. But I'm, I'm fixing it now. I'm getting my energy levels back and my sleep back on point now that I'm back into running and stuff. Shredded and baggy shirts are the goats. Are goats. Just enough to see chest peaks. If, if they're pulled off correctly, aye, I agree. Never came back. Should I log on and check area name? You can if you want. Have you left? So are you in Minas Ethel? Oh, see, I, I'm... I think I know where you are, Preston. Are you where you... See, I, I, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to spoil it. That's the problem. They're not at the moment. No, see, that's the thing. It's mad that you say that, Kieran, because I hate my forearms lately. Because they've gone quite thin because I've just been, like, fucking not drinking shakes enough or anything. Yeah. I, I wish, kind of wish it was cold enough to wear that jacket. I don't. I love the summer, but still. Anyway, should we do a night attack? Prevent reinforcements and also reduce visibility for of line of sight for both sides. There's not really... It would be cool hunting them down, but not to say too much, but I think they'll have the advantage in the night. <laughs> uh, and it, it, in terms of the game mechanics, it doesn't offer me an advantage to um, fight at night. Yeah, so I think I know where you are, Preston, but to narrow it down would potentially involve spoiling it, which is the problem. There's uh, that place beyond the pines film that I told you about uh, with orc finishers talking about shreddy and baggy, b b baggy shirts. Uh, Kieran, the place beyond the pines, that Ryan Gosling film. He's got some really cool style designers in that film, and he has a lot of sort of shredded and, and baggy shirts in that film, and they're quite aesthetic. They work quite well, but I think with that there to pull that off, there has to be the right um, trousers as well. But that's like that with the uh, smart clothes as well. That's why I just try, try to dress quite basic. Maybe a little bit military with the boots and the combat trousers and stuff. Wait. Start. Miss this game. Big time. Alright, starting on a hill. This game loves me. 
See, when I defend, the game never puts me in a fucking hill. Never puts me in a hill. Ever. So maybe it would have been good to do a night battle. On style 2. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know the name. It's something like Mil Civ, Military Civilian. But that's what I like to go for. Just because if I wear any other kind of shoe, not even from a style perspective, they fall apart. I do a lot of running, a lot of um, cross country and hi hiking and stuff. Uh, I have Blue Man Trip. Drip and Trip. TBJ. TBH. F -f 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 Good point, Bresson. They've got mercenary Germanics. Our people are working for them. Sirith Ungol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the cavey place with the spider bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It's like, it is like a new area, isn't it? But it, most of it's under the underground, isn't it? Most of it's like cavey. Half the time I know what you're talking about, even though you never explain yourself very well, Preston. Half the time I do know what you're talking about. It's very foggy, this map. I can't tell if that's the sea or just the land. Uh, but I just don't want to say anything that could be a spoiler. Sad reality of it is, that's what the Romans... That's how they won't... Romans got through it. They just hired some of the best warriors. So here, they're, just, they're gonna do the usual soy tactic here of just rotating to match whatever my formation is. So I'm gonna try and force them to attack with the archers, I think. It's nice having a fellow sick cunt, orc finisher. That's that's orc in the Lord of the Rings context as well, I think. Is it not orc finisher? It might be Warhammer, but I'm Pretty sure they spell that with a K. It's a fucking, I love this game, man. It's beautiful. I love Thrones of Britannia, but like, there's a lot of good things about it. But this game, if this game just had some of the polished elements of uh, Thrones of Britannia, it would be fucking superb. It's great anyway, but if it just had a little bit of the polish that. Because Throne of the Britannia was a much smaller project, it allowed them to focus on a lot smaller things and more specific things. If it just had that in this game, and not as many of the annoying bugs, it would be so good. Of course, I'm a Hobbit lover. Oh, both then. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm into... Well, I used to be into both of them. I still like Warhammer in theory, but I've just not sort of done it in a long time. I was always into, uh, I was into it all, actually. 40k, classic, and the, even back when they did the Lord of the Rings Warhammer. Fucking loved that shit. The amount of money I spent on it. For a kid as well, back then, how much money I spent on it is mad. It really shouldn't be uh, a hobby that's pushed to children. It's not really, but it kind of is. Because it's so expensive. <laughs> what do you think of that new uh, Warhammer game coming out? That Vermintide sequel. It's a shame. They're, they're quite cool games. But it's a shame that that's the only decent rendition of Warhammer in games nowadays. You have a lot of cash grabs that are just using the, the, the Warhammer name for money. See, I was too young for Warhammer collecting. I was into Lego. I was collecting Warhammer around the same time I was collecting Lego, to be fair. I spent a lot of money on it. I've still got it. I mean to, you know, either sell it or recollect it. Like, uh, sort of laid out in dior dioramas. But if I, if I was to get into it now, I'd probably do more along the lines of these, like, not real, uh, not real Warhammer... Um, brands, but you know where you can get miniature brands of like Scythian horsemen or Roman soldiers or something. Something like that would be good. <clears throat> oh, 
you know, and you like you lay them out on your desk so they're in like a shield wall or something. Scrappers! Ah, right, there we go. We got what we wanted. This is the moment where you realize you've got exactly what you wanted and you're terrified. Because <laughs> there's an army ch charging down the hill at you. We can have them though. We can take them pretty well, I reckon. Probably need swordsmen behind these two units. So. Be nice if the archers would start shooting. What's happened there? Have they just crashed their horsemen into... Yeah, they have. They've just crashed the horsemen to the back of one of their spare units. Fucking idiots. Oh. Right, we let them get a little bit more committed and then we fold the, uh, the flanks in on them. We can probably do it now, actually. <laughs> yes. Cool. Cool. Finish them off. Couldn't have gone better, this couldn't. And this fucking army, man, they have pissed me off so much. They've been a thorn in my ass for so long. I think where I fall short in these games, well, not in these games, but in this specific game, is main. I need to maintain forces for longer periods, I think. Rather than build them up when there's a problem. There's a fine line to be drawn between maintaining a force and it breaking you financially, but then you're safe, but then you run out of that money, so you have to disband the army anyway. Or, um. Sorry, I'm just focusing. Or never having an army, but then. Obviously, you have to build an army up every time you think you need an army, which takes a while and usually results in your troops. Dying or, or uh, in your settlements being taken, you end up retaking them, of course, but still. You know what? Maybe. Yeah, finish them off. But I swing back and forth between selling and collecting so many times. I actually saw a, a Mandalorian Lego kit in a shop the other day. A brand new one. It was very expensive, but. Like the old ancestral instinct of buying all the Star Wars Lego in sight almost started to kick in. I didn't buy it. I'd much rather buy some a little bit more practical or cooler, like a, a Force Effects lightsaber or something, if I was going to buy something Star Wars, but you know. Still got the old urge. Yeah, it's over for them. Absolutely done. Oh, you wouldn't want to be one of them now. <laughs> Went pretty well, to be honest. The spearmen didn't last as long as I expect them to. The uh, the line of pikes on the main flank. Do you still have your Lego, little Lego men you bought? I don't think I did, you know. I don't think I do. I, I've not seen them around. I, don't, I can't remember what happened to them, really. It's so bad when you have money for it as well. I can't remember, actually. I think it was uh, some, like, Death Troopers, a Mandalorian, and IG-11, I think. Ransom. We're not fucking ransoming these, even if I get dollar for it. Killing them, mate. We're killing them. Send them a message. Don't. 
Literally, I lost my shit. I didn't see that, really. Wow, okay, that's interesting. That box in episode 5 of Kenobi. They're going to recanonize Starkiller. I won't go that far, Kieran. They might, but I've got the feeling. It just... It wouldn't fit in properly, I don't think. Unless they tone him down how powerful he is. Yeah, exactly. I've just seen what you put on the, the chat, the real chat. Exactly. <laughs> Preston. <laughs> There's so many of those sort of memes and inside jokes that I want to do with the Calibrim or Italian standing near each other, but I don't want to send something that you've not seen. Oh, here she is. She's back. I am, I am a priestess. Yes, we know. What the fuck are these guys doing here? Hang on a minute. I don't like this. All this shit going on in my lands. There's a horde settling with them. And we got the fucking... Langobards here. And they've got a lot of troops. Holy fucking hell, man. Thirty-four units of troops. Are you serious? At my capital as well. <laughs> and we have like eight. Okay, that des that that deserves attention. Don't really want to leave that unmanned because it is going to suffer from. Public order. But this is a bit more pressing. Where well, they both just turn heads and look at each other. They do that a lot, yes. Yes, yeah, so I suppose we'll move this force over now. To take out these cooks here. Or maybe these ones, I don't, I don't even fucking know. I know that the Abdanians, whoever, wherever, these guys, are these. I know that the Abdanians said they're going to try and take out the, the Sons of Rome. This army that they're sending down is not capable of that at all. Ten's been playing Phasma for 40 minutes. Yeah, it's... He's a fool, he is, man. No need for it. Thirsty for battle. Yeah, these fuckers are being really cheeky. Look at this, they're just setting it, and then this other faction here are just putting a horde on my lands. I think they're my lands anyway. Yeah, they are. They are. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, they are. They are definitely my lands. But I'm not going to go to war with them yet. They'll be easy prey, but I'm not going to go to war with them yet because these guys have rocked up here. And what are they? They were the Langobards. Yeah, they're angry at me. Can we get a peace treaty? Yeah, I have a strong feeling they're about to go to war with me. Okay, if that's how it's going to be. Now, if I can get this other army in, in time, we can defend it. We can, if I can get this army in. I might just have to preemptively go to war with them. Um, 
We've got two catapults. Nine, ten units there. Good troops. Eleven. Twenty-four units in total. So they'll outnumber us, but we'll have walls. We'll have strong walls. We'll have two catapults. Yeah, because he used to be pretty fucking ripped, didn't he? Episode 24. What, of like 7,000? Why are these cooks angry down in London? You're not even being taxed, you nonces. What have you got to complain about? You have a free life. Cheeky bastards, man. Oh, I just realized these fuckers are coming along the southern shore. So they could get straight for Colonial Gripper. I still think it's more important that we focus here, though. And they are within reinforcement range. <laughs> 581. Fucking hell. <laughs> Yeah, they're leaving now, pussy boys. Oh, are they gonna attack? They're attacking, oh my god. Okay, they're attacking the horde folks. The horde boys. Do you boys wanna hop on uh, Battlefield 1? I say now, just cause both of you take ages to get on it, so. If you are up for Battlefield, oh, we can do uh, half an hour on it. Honey milk. <clears throat> or I could stay on this. I mean, it's entirely up to you boys. Uh, oh, they just took Karinum. Uh, if we do Battlefield, we won't have time for clip sending now. We can keep it as it is. If Preston, you want to play Shadow of War and Karin wants to send clips, it's entirely up to you boys. One of your subjects has recently become infatuated and wishes to marry his intended. Shall their union be allowed to continue? Feel like a bit of an asshole for intervening. Go and get a good shag on. Oh, we got another... Uh this game is difficult. Each one, another, I send is perfect for a certain time. Old person did something. Sure. Oh, are you giving away what this video is going to be, person? Hunde Malk. Just continue on with the tiller. Yep, no worries. I'm happy with either. Probably the right thing is no no an origin in Battlefield. It'll take fifteen minutes to get into the game. So fair enough. Eight to, I was wondering that. I was thinking yesterday because I remember you mentioning it. What are you doing on your birthday? No, you're seeing this bird. I might have to do a Blair Witch stream around your birthday then. Giving away the video. Yeah, the video that you're making. If you're not doing a compilation of us looking at each other like Calabrimbor and Italian, you definitely should. Is that, yeah, are they the, uh, wait, what, it looks so different because it's just turned to the turn season. So they actually helped me out, really, they're not even my allies. The so these are the, the horde cooks. For the tribe. For the tribe. So it'll be 13 versus 14. They got some men over here, though, as well. There should be a way, I think, in this game. There should be a mechanic where you can levy your garrison. Where you can pull your garrison out as a last-ditch attempt to defend.
Ah. Well, we don't have any money for. Oh, can you hear that humming in the background? This fucking cook shuts up. He's ruining that. Shut up! Oh my fuck, he's annoying. Okay, they've taken that settlement. Fucking cooks. And my allies continue to do nothing about it. I might need to mod this game like I did with Rome, where it just it minimizes the rebellions. Because it's getting pretty unmanageable. I might have a look now and just see if there's any mods for it. It's becoming quite unmanageable, just the lack of public order. I'm going to save it and I'll just have a look now. I mean, granted, I am on a pretty... I think I'm on a higher difficulty, but still... When I'm late to stream because of a woman. <laughs> So it's cool, isn't it, though, how, they, how they've how they done Shelob? Because that woman, that's the big spider at the end of Return of the King. So it's quite cool, isn't it, how they've done that? Because if you look at the lore, it is, that is actually how it works. Oh, God. Is it, what is it with Steam downloads? Like if you're in the middle of a download and you don't finish it and then a new update comes, it just completely re rewrites any progress that you've done. We had that with Conan for ages, didn't we? Ooh. Oh my god, guys. Simplified Chinese coming to ESO later this year. Thank you. It's a miracle. There's a new skin. Ooh. There's a, there's a cool looking Warthog. For an ultimate weekly challenge. But in reality, for how much time... An ultimate challenge takes. It's not really worth it. Um, oh, Killing Floor is still getting updates. Tidal Terror update. You have Killing Floor too, Preston. Double XP for all players. Oh, it ended today for Planet Side Two. Uh, right. Till uh. I can see ten on it. <sighs> Workshop. <laughs> There's a mod to get rid of female warriors. <laughs> Based. Um, public order. Roman public. More public order. There we go. We got a mod. I'll give you a limit of four clips, Kieran. Because I walk, Talion walks towards some women and Keller Brimbor is mad at him. <laughs> yeah. That's us, though, really. If you think about like, our history, I am Keller Brimbor. Right, let's see what this mod does. Save, so easy, normal. Yeah, what do we should we should we have a vote? What do we think? Should I install a mod that will slightly improve public order? I think I should, because um, this game is maybe it's because of the difficulty I'm on. It just it's becoming intolerable a little bit to the point that I can't. Re I take one step forward and it's two steps back, and I'm just sort of stuck in this rut, which at first it was fun, but now I, I don't want it to be easy. I just want the places I have taken to stay mine until someone besieges them rather than fucking peasants taking it. I'm going to do it. I have voted myself and we're going to do it.
your other half says yes. That's a bit gay referring to Kieran as your other half. I I really I mean I really want to play more Shadow of Mordor just to see play as Talion when he was alive. Not Talion, sorry. Uh Calabrimo when he was alive. It seems like a really interesting DLC. They should have ported it to Shadow of War and just resold it in Shadow of War. I'm sure people would have complained about it, but Right, let's launch the game. Mod Manager. Activate. Activate then. Yeah. Why is it classed as a graphical mod? Yeah, I'll do a I'll do a Blair Witch stream around your birthday then. Do a couple of hours on it. <sighs> this mod's got a lot of potential. Uh, sorry, this game's got a lot of mod potential that isn't utilized. <laughs> that. Claudius Roman Emperor, a quote from him. I've made a mess of it. That reminds me of Kieran. When Kieran finally... Wait, what? What? I definitely saved it. It's loaded the wrong save. Why is it fucking loaded this save? Hang on. I saved it. Don't take the piss. Yeah, it's here. Why is it all the way down here? What the fuck? Safe system on these games is stupid. Kieran, when he finally gives in it to defending his actions with crashing the car and murdering us all, and he's like, yep, I, I made a mistake. I'm surprised he told us that he was in the map in the Megalodon. I, I'm Honestly, I'm surprised he admitted that. I, if I was him, knowing him, I would have just sort of wandered and found an, another car. United against us? Wait, what? Oh, this... Shit, the Swavians have joined the Spanish. Okay. This is where I left off, isn't it? So we had one there. Th 13 there. Yeah, this is where I left off. I am a priestess. So this the game should be a little bit more tolerable now. And I reckon we'll probably just wait until we're fully healed up. They're raiding, so I don't think they're going to be recruiting any more troops. Probably a bad idea to attack now. They've got pretty shit. Oh, that's interesting. They've got mercenaries as well. Most of their army is a mercenary army, so it's going to be tr costing them a lot of money. That said, though, we don't really have... Might have to get rid of the mercenary skirmishes for a while. Yeah. Ready for I was stuck, so I was thinking I was permanently stuck, so I'd either stay there or tether back to you. <laughs> I like that when we left the map, you didn't care about the Megalodon, which we never got, by the way, did we? We didn't pick the old Megalodons up, we just left them. You just cared about Maximilian. I just fucking realised this. We never got the Megalodons. We left them. They cost like uh, like a third of the price of the base. Fuck's sake, Preston. Me? 
I'm waiting for it. I know we'll say that. Me? There are not enough funds in your treasure. Shut up, bitch. Oh, they ran away. Oh, you run away. They're running. Pussy boy. Pussy boy. Why are you running? Thirsty for battle. Ready for battle. Can't tell what route they've taken. Did that say the Swabians are united against me? Yeah. That's a weird mode of movement, that is. Why do I have to go all the way back there? <laughs> yeah. I have one from the bounty board, don't worry. We did leave them though, didn't we though? Like, we didn't even, we didn't pay us. Oh, hey up. Have they left their place undefended? Okay. You know what, I think I should probably attack. I'm gonna save it, because it might be a bad idea, but. Wait, what, have they got two armies already? What the fuck? Is this one faction as well? These are Hispania, yeah. And the, oh, okay, okay, okay. They've just... Oh, wow, okay, my allies have just been in a battle with them. They have won, I think. Yeah, they won. But they're weak, is the point. So this is a good chance to attack. Yes. Yes! Kieran, I see six notifications... On Discord, I said you could have four. <sighs> Fucking love milk. I've missed her war. I see seven now. Yes. Sounds like a little bird. Battle ready and eager. Oh, once again, the game's spawning me at the bottom of a hill. They never, when I'm on the defense, it never puts me at the top of the hill, is all I'll say. I always have to fucking race to get to the hill. This would be one of those weird things where Kieran and Preston are better at than me in like very obscure, unexpected ways and games. It's like the, the, the one total war where they completely smash me. For no reason, it would make no sense whatsoever, but they just, they would. They haven't got catapults, have they? Elita Draguda Spearman. Mm -hmm. My eyes have actually been useful in this game for once. Which, uh, to be honest, I appreciate. Before this, they were just allies in name only, they were never useful. But they've actually uh, done the job for once. Make it ten. Go fuck yourself, Kieran. You know what? I'm not even. I'm just gonna let them fight. Might as well. Let them fight. 
And uh, make, make, make him earn the alliance. They're going absolutely smashed, but I'll let them attack first. Soak up the uh, the archer fire, and then I'll swoop in like a hawk. Let's send a little bit of a force into the woods here. Uh, Pretty boring looking faction. You've been playing any games lately, Karen? Oh my god, this is like double fast forward. Mostly watching shows. Yeah, I always struggle to do more than. Uh, in a, you know, in an ideal world, you do a bit, a bit of everything, wouldn't you? But it's hard to do. It's easier said than done. That goes for everything. Like a bit of working out, a bit, a, a bit of a run, a bit of sunbathing, a bit of rooting, a bit of show, a bit of game, and all this, but. Is Westworld the one about the... Oh, no, I'm thinking of American Gods. Travis Fimmel's in a new show, a cowboy show. Oh, my God, these kids are taking ages. Still need to watch the Bay of Town Outlaws, Karen. It's a film uh, with Travis Fimmel in. It's pretty good, pretty action packed. quite based as well. Travis Fimmel's calling people faggots in it a lot and stuff. Told you about it ages ago, Mr. Kieran. It's good. It's from, like, 2012, I think. So it just as Vikings was getting big. They're like, uh, sort of bounty hunters. And then the show that's coming out... With Travis Fimmel, that he's like a sort of, I don't know, like cowboy. I suppose bounty hunter maybe. Looks like it's going to be pretty action packed. I don't know why, Ken, because I'm not watching them all. We've got allies bringing in some blonde women to a uh, fight. No, oh, but you'll make me feel guilty when I don't watch them all. Hearthguard! Battle Willow! I'm not actually gonna make my ally just fight and then lose. I'm gonna let them, the ally, soak up most of their stuff and then I'll attack. So I'm still being a dickhead, but not as much of a dickhead as I originally made it sound like. Hard to fit in everything, everything in a day's light. Yeah, I think the only thing, the only way to do it is day on, day off. So, one day watch a show, next day read, next day game or whatever. Even then, it's difficult though, unless you're properly strict with it. Come on, get in, get in, get in, get in. Run faster, fatties. 
Run faster, you fat cunts. I wonder if my ally could actually... They probably couldn't take him, but it'll be a close one. Should probably just be smart and not use my troops unless I have to. Our hidden units have been discovered. Oh yeah, my allies definitely wouldn't want that. Yeah, we should charge in now while the back's turned. Missiles ready. Oh, I up, I up, I up. Okay, they've turned to me. Oh, wow, my allies are dead. Shit. <laughs> That went fast. We'll kill them all. Where's my general? Oh, focus on them. Focus on the general. Get the general. Go on. Get him. Get. Oh, we got him. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we got him now. We got him, R2. I won on make lobster sounds in my mocks, but make it heck out. <laughs> yeah, if you did it right, they wouldn't be able to audibly trace the sound to you either. Yeah, that was the right play there. Obviously, I completely fucked over my allies, but in reality, like, they've been useless up until now. This is the first time as that I know of that they've actually fought for me. Oh, okay, some of his men survived. They were, wow, they were mercenaries as well. Now. No, we want Fury of the Emperor to be the target, really, don't we? Shit, I have a lot of enemies. Swabians own Rome, and now they're at war with me. Oh, great. Oh, that's what the eagle means. It means that they're war coordination targets. Okay. It'll be like, oh, there's sounds up here now. Yeah, like a, 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 a game NPC when you're doing, like, laws. You know, like the, the old Assassin's Creed where you'd be like, and they'd, like, walk all the way around and you go, and they'd come back. Huh? What was that? What? Okay, so I feel more comfortable fucking up graining places now that 
it's not going to be quite as ruthless with the public order. It was like this with, with Rome 2. I started to, I almost gave up on the game just because of how ruthless it was. Fuck, oh, wait, what? Why are they not able to move? Oh, because I've fucking moved them around, didn't I? Aye. Come fight for us, lads. Fight for us, lads. Thirsty for battle. Well met. <laughs> Must have been the wind. All right, let's save it there. I reckon. Watch four of Kieran's videos. Must have been the wind. Yeah, Karen, I, I don't even see the things. They're just blank links. So I can't even, I'm just going to have to do the first four then. Alright. Must have been the wind. Oh, I'm gone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. Boom. Turn the game capture off. Forgot about that. Stream should sort itself out in a minute if you can still hear me. Yeah, for some reason, when I close Attila down, but keep game capture on... It just fucking absolutely plummets. Or maybe it's just because the Windows updates. Who knows? What? What? Someone's asked for the... I'm watching the first one. Someone's asked for the game's name. How the fuck do you not know what Battlefield 1 is? It's not like the time we had a guy in and he didn't, he'd never played Skyrim. Not you, Kieran. Surprising. This was another one. <laughs> How the fuck is he paused that in the game? Like, seen it that, like that. Unless he's edited it like that. I did pull up on the stream. No, no. We invented them. We started them. <laughs> Don't nag at me about pulling up on stream again. I am. It, that's not how it works when I open links, and it's just resuming my download for some fucking reason, too. Plays the videos straight away, automatically, and puts them on the wrong screen. Speed. 
Those things were so pointless, those, uh, hoverboard things. When you're f I don't know which one is the Lord of the Rings one, Kieran, because they're just links. They don't have any photos on. A friend dies in a video game. And he's not sure what to say. Excuse me, I think the word you're searching for is the end. <laughs> what a gamer. When your friend dies in a video game, and he's not sure what to say. Excuse me, I think the word you're searching for is the end word. What a <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. I don't know what you're talking about with War Warzone pressing, but yeah. It was Nathan's fault as well that he he unplugs his mic. His mic stops working right before the end. And instead of just carrying on playing. He fucking, what does he do? He, instead of carrying on playing and just sort of trying to, you know, trying his best, he tries to plug it in at where we've got like 10 people left. And he's like, oh, hang on guys, let me just plug it back in and sort it out. Hang on then. Let's go. I wonder who's here today. Is that gained off the way? Legs, alas. Jim Lee. Jim Lee. Bro, Jim Lee. Baggins. Swole them. <laughs> These guys are sick. There's nobody that could beat them. Oh my god, it's it's testosterone. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, Jim. Let's go. I wonder who. <laughs> Jim Lou. Jim <laughs> Me and you, Kieran.
You can see that the rock in anywhere near as tall as he claims to be there. But he sat next to James Corden. How's that you when Preston does it on stream, Kieran? Oh, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Wow! What was that? Did you guys hear that part? <laughs> Fucking diamond! <laughs> wow! from Area 51 with a backpack full of alien testosterone. <laughs> 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 I love how the baby's like that. using emergency powers to grant yourself authorities to build this wall without congressional approval. And second, yes, on I have to go. You have. <laughs> yes, I have. And I can do it if I want. So you don't need congressional approval to build the no, wall. No, we can use them. Absolutely. We can call a national emergency because of the security of our country. Absolutely. No, we can do it. I haven't done it. I may do it. I may do it. But we can call a national emergency and build it very quickly. And uh, it's another way of doing it. But if we can do it through a negotiated process, we're giving that a shot. So is that a, a threat hanging over the Democrats? I never threaten anybody. But, but I am allowed to do that. Second question, it's called a national emergency. He should have done that, really, though, looking back on it. In reality. Because now that it's like 80% built on the lefties are just deconstructing it. Testosterone is how people react when they say test and they try to say it, guy. <laughs> Jim Lee. Alright, I'm going to get off now. I'll uh, be on tomorrow. Should we do coded tomorrow, Preston? what chivalry 2 has got going on sexual themes it's like a multiplayer sword fighting game I cut a guy's arms off and he headbutted me to death alright 
No, that to be honest, it looks like a slightly worse version of Mordhau. I didn't like Mordhau. It wasn't. Still got the message across. Reduced uh, Skywalker Saga down quite a lot. Yeah, I didn't even know uh, that new. Oh, Deep Rock Galactica. Preston has been reduced to eight pounds on Steam. It, it almost seems like Steam are listening, but it's been reduced to eight pounds on Steam. That game that it was on the list for things to get. It's like the fucking listening. For oh, what's forewarned? Forewarned looks quite good. One to four player cup survival. Delve deep into ancient Egyptian ruins with your team of fellow archaeologists. That sounds interesting. Investigate phenomena, collect treasure, discover lore, survive dangers, and banish the evil that lurks within. That sounds pretty fucking interesting. It's, I, I don't know if it's like Phasma or if it's like the forest. Oh no, it's more like the Phasma, I think. But there is combat in it. That looks interesting. It's easy. No problem. The only reason I don't like re reacting to clips usually, and especially TikTok clips, is that they automatically play. So you fucking half of them plays with it before you can go up, up, up on the screen. Um, and then obviously you have to check what's been screen shared, which I didn't last time and, you know, showed like Discord and stuff. It's a bit of a faff, but I don't mind. Thanks for sharing them. It's easy to compare this game to Phasmophobia. But honestly, Forewarned is the better overall package due to faster updates and more in-depth game mechanics. Lots more to do in a game, especially with the new updates, adding depth to the end of each round. Choosing to either leave with your loot or conduct a ritual to banish the Magi. Magi. Pharaoh's bodyguard for increased rewards. Each round has a defined start midpoint. That sounds... Yeah, that sounds... I don't know if you're watching, Preston, but that sounds interesting. Forewarned. Seems like a deeper version of Phasmophobia, but it's set in Egyptian pyramids. That could be pretty fucking interesting. And it's cheap as well. Not to buy it now, it's just, you know... No, not foreshadowing. Forewarned. Fuck is em Empyrean Galactic Survival? Fuck is that? Who's your daddy? What the fuck? It's 
Sit, thinking about seeing it in a proper theatre. I think it's like sequel to the show, isn't it? I've seen it. What? Foreboding? Forewarned, sorry. What about Cone and Chop Chop? Yeah, Pacify is definitely like the discount version of Phasmophobia. It's cheaper, it's older, and it doesn't look as good. I haven't been adapted to the show there. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So will they So will this mean that some of it won't end up in the show because they're showing it in the film? Gordon Chop Chop. Yeah, have a look at Forewarned. It looks quite interesting. There's a few games in that nature though. And I'm looking and it says that Joe owns them all. <laughs> One friend I think that's Joe anyway. Yeah. Last online 42 days ago. Bullshit. He's appearing offline. Labyrinth. A co-op horror game like no other. Play one to four players online. No, this sounds like many others. But now that we're, we're going to have to get Crispy in, but Crispy's so rarely on. So now that we're, now it's just me and you on Phasma, Preston, it's going to be fucking scary. Like literally, <laughs> it's going to be scary. Well, it is the furthest set in the timeline at this point, so the unreleased episodes come before it. Ah, right, okay. But they're going to come after it, though, when they launch. Corn and Chop Chop. Because before it, you could just sort of, like, carry on if one of us had died. More than once. Yeah, but, it, yeah, so it's like... You could just carry on if one of us died, like me and you did often when Tin had died. And you could just carry on and do a couple more things. But if one of us dies now, we're on our own. <laughs> oh, there's a new update for Grounded. The bugs strike back. Oh, for fuck's sake. I know, that was quite a while ago. They did a free weekend for Grounded, but that was a while ago. Oh, they've added... They have, like, uh, bug raids now. On Grounded. That granted does look fucking good though. It looks like one of those games that you can't really imagine it playing. Like you look at the screenshots and it just looks like a cartoon. You can't imagine it playing because of how cool the idea of it is, if that makes any sense. On Amazon Prime. Let's have a gander. Oh yeah, there's a couple of new packs for um, Valhalla from Amazon. Press them. Thirty free games, including Mass Effect. Preston, man, we we're talking about this a week ago.
Oh my fuck! Ooh, Preston man! Mass Effect Legendary Edition! For free! I think. He only came out like, like a year ago. Star Wars Republic Commando. Hey. We could do co-op on that. There's like, I'm sure there's co-op missions or something. Starting on June the 21st. So in two days. Where at? This is Amazon Prime. So it's just the Prime games. That's really cool. Wow. That's amazing. That's really cool that they're doing that. No, no, I'm not on that page. I just typed in Amazon Prime free games. Starting from the 21st, Preston. Of this month, so in two days. Oh, there is a few up though. World Rally Championship 8. It's a free game, I suppose. Oh! Charlemagne Mundle. Oh! For Valhalla! Claim. Yes! It's pretty fucking smart that they do this. That they're fleshing it out. It's, there's so much more incentive to buy Amazon. The, th the fact that Amazon is cheaper than 1080p Netflix. And you get free deliveries with stuff. And free games. I can honestly see at some point Amazon buying Netflix. On like seriously. Yeah, the Charlemagne part looks good. Yeah, so so if it's in eight days, your birthday is twenty seventh, then Kieran, is that correct? I'll do a bit of cheeky. Uh, see what day that's gonna be on. Monday. Yeah, I'll be free on a Monday. So I'll always be free work wise. Now I'll always be free on a Monday, Tuesday, and a Wednesday. Some days I'll be working Thursdays and Fridays. Some days I'll be working Friday night to Saturday morning and Saturday morning to Saturday, Sunday morning. Sometimes I'll be working Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday if I want more money. But the cool thing about it is I'm not in, uh, obliged to do any of it. I can say no because it's uh, I'm not contracted to do any particular amount of hours. But there is work there if I want to, which is quite cool because my drive definitely comes and goes at times although when I'm doing all everything right it's usually more coming than going um, but that will mean that I can plan ahead you know if there's a new game coming out or if there's you know a heat wave coming and I want to just not work and all that then it will allow for that now which is very very cool and because the Saturday so Friday night to the Saturday and then Saturday night to the Sunday and I'll have like a few hours off in the middle of Saturday afternoon that those are night hours really night shifts so essentially it's being paid to sleep 
it's a pretty cool system where essentially I'm just paid to be there on site, make sure no one dies, make sure nothing gets robbed and monitor it and then lock up when the people that are renting the centre out for whatever it is that they rented it for leave. And obviously if there's like a gas a fucking like leak or anything, you're there to sort it out basically. Um, but what's cool is if I get disturbed at any point throughout the night, I automatically get I think it's something like 20 or 30 pounds I think just for being disturbed um, no I think it's 25 pounds and then for every overnight shift that I do I get a 25 pound bonus on top of the normal wages so it's some good easy money I won't say how much money I'm making from the normal hours obviously but it's pretty good Get some editing done. I think I'll try and aim for a... When I'm on these shifts, I'll try and aim for two videos a night. Not straight away, because... At first, I'll, I'll, well, I need to find a laptop to do the editing on first. But. Blood animated in the new Dragon Ball movie. Why did they remove it? We're talking about Mass Effect. I can play it on the update graphics. I. Real talk. I don't know. Since it's free, I don't know if you should do a stream of it or just play through it. Oh, yeah, the PewDiePie one. <laughs> yeah. I thought the sun was black. It's really hard to find those edits because they're really like shoved down by YouTube for obvious reasons. You should definitely claim it though. Removed it in the new series, I don't know why, but they brought it back. That's fucking stupid removing it. So the only downside is that in the Legendary Edition, it's not include, doesn't include the multiplayer for Mass Effect 3 because we could have played that <sighs> but yeah this new job is going to be quite good I think I don't know how was thinking that too like yeah and then he dressed up as the Nazi as the joke and everything I was thinking that too, aren't that genuinely? Like, there's a few times where he just seems to drop little hints. And when he says, oh, no, I thought the sun was black. Most people, you know, his fucking children f f followers that watch him will not think anything of that. You and I know what that means, though. Fuck's this game? That's a Chinese zombie game that's free. Got overwhelmingly positive reviews, but obviously if it's free. I don't know. I don't think... I don't know. I think he's just a bit, a bit cheeky. Like, he's called YouTube the other term and then dresses up then. Dresses up and then calls it black. It's, I don't know. I have no idea. Fucking saw Fall Guys then on Amazon Prime, but it's just a bundle yeah I'm gonna hop on I think I'll do a bit of bit of a uh, ball holla now I'll see you all tomorrow should we do Conan tomorrow then press them ta have a good night boys
Really hate Sweden and London, obvious reasons and a correlation. Yeah, he was slagging off London quite a bit, wasn't he? And he moved to Japan, who were Hitler's allies. Anyway, have a good night, boys. See you uh, tomorrow. Try and be on a bit earlier tomorrow. Farewell. Goodbye.